my gosh, so I kind of want to have a little topic right now because I was really just rambling on about nothing. I might post that video, but right now I want to have a little conversation about being friends with Ron Jeremy. Um, if you were watching my Vegas videos, you would see, maybe you didn't recognize him, maybe you did, but um, that little, they call him the hedgehog, but he was hanging out with us in Vegas and I know him. I've known him for years and he, He's really an interesting person. Um, and Moss is friends with him. So, you know, I've, I always see, I always see Ron around. Um, but anyways, I'm, I have this movie called Ron Jeremy Life After the Buffet that I'm gonna watch after I make this video. So let's just open that. But I guess he got a heart attack. Well, not, not I guess, but he did get a heart attack a couple years ago. And I think this video here follows him on that journey. He is a cultural icon known as the king of porn. Okay, before we go on, uh, I don't watch porn and I've never seen any of his movies. And the only movies I've seen was the Lloyd Kaufman movies that he's in. And I actually was in Return to Nukem High, Volume 2. So if you have the chance, get that movie because... I mean it. I have a little part in it. Not a really big part though, but you might see me. I don't know. I was a news reporter, by the way. A news reporter. But anyway, so this is, um, he's a sex guru to millions of fans. Ron Jeremy, Life After the Buffet is an explosive film that exposes Ron. Oh, there's people up there. Um, at age 60 in a surprising and very real way. In 2013, Ron made a different kind of headline. Death came knocking at his door like a bolt of lightning when he started experiencing pains in his chest. The film follows Ron on his spiritual awakening and personal discovery journey to discover the existence of a greater power than what is here on Earth. But the thing about Ron is he really doesn't change his ways. He doesn't eat healthy. He doesn't really get good sleep. He's always trying to find the next party. Like, if you meet him, he might very well try to hang out with you and your crew and just, then you, he's a cool guy, like, he's really nice and really caring, you know, he's a really nice person, he has a really good heart, like, he's always, like, happy to see me and he's always very nice to me, you know, um, but, well, he doesn't do this to me because, because my, uh, Moss would, like, he just doesn't, like, but he's, got in trouble for like being gropey with females but see the thing is like if you go to meet him at a convention he thinks a female wants him to grope them which I don't think I've seen it happen too so he kind of got in trouble for that and he got sued by by somebody a couple girls for that reason but you know I mean you can't just like touch somebody like even if you're famous or whatnot but some people they're like you know I'm at a convention and this is expected of him to behave this way but I've seen him do it and I've seen him do it to my friends like you know but I mean I don't know mm. I also got this because I want it he does rum and I really wanted to have my own signed rum so he did this me and Moss got this rum from Vegas and it says to Lori and Mike because Mike likes rum and I, this is before me and Mike I don't know what's going on with Mike but it's a Ron Jeremy. Ron many signs it. Ron Jeremy. So I think that's really cool. I'm not going to drink it though. I'm just going to keep it. You know, that's something cool. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, oh, gosh. He's a cool person. Like, if you meet him, he's actually really nice. It's personable, you know. Um, but, what else? I don't know. <laughs> um, and whenever you are walking around with him and like there's always going to be people stopping him for pictures and autographs and whatnot <laughs> but yeah like Moss is his really good friend um and the one time when we were in Vegas Ron was saying that he can get us into he said he kept saying that he can get us backstage and, and meet Aerosmith and we can go to the after party and all this stuff and you know, I'm like, don't, it's not, it's okay. I was telling him, like, you don't have to do that. Like, it's fine, you know, but he kept acting like he was able to get us in and to meet 
the band, which would have been cool. It really would have been awesome to meet them. I mean, you know, and I saw the concert and it was great. In Vegas, like, I, okay, so here's what happened. So let me tell you, Ron kept like talking about how he can get us all in and whatnot. So we walked to there to the ticket thing and he was saying, yeah, I'm Ron and I spoke to somebody, but he didn't like speak to their people, you know, he should have, but he didn't do that, right? So he didn't hook it up or nothing. And they kept like looking at him like they couldn't do anything because nobody in our Aerosmith's crew hooked it up. The other night we got David Spade tickets and Ray, Ray Romano tickets, but I think they just gave it to him because the show already started and they just wanted to give it to him. And But those weren't like $300 Aerosmith tickets. Like those were just maybe $60 comedy tickets for David Spade or not. But um, yeah, so actually I thought Ray Romano was funnier than David Spade. Um, so anyways, um, ugh. yeah, so, um, you know, when we were at the Aerosmith, there was somebody there who had like, was like a scalper or something. So he came up and found us cause he saw we were trying to get in and Ron was actually going to buy tickets from him, but, um, the security came and put that and then to that and we didn't get in trouble, but they kicked the other guy out. They said he's banned from the casino or whatnot. He can't be there. Um, and I guess Ron felt really bad about like saying all this stuff. So he actually went and bought me a ticket, like just me. He didn't buy him a ticket or Moss. He bought me a ticket and he didn't have to do that. And I guess he just felt bad, you know? So that was really nice of Ron. And that ticket was like $319 and I had really good seats. Like I have footage of the Aerosmith concert, but it was like really good seats. And that was just really nice of him. So that's what I'm saying. Like he... Is a really nice guy and like he you know but it's so there's footage too of him and moss arguing it's like hilarious almost though it's like it's kind of funny to just sit back and watch it you know <laughs> like but yeah so like i said I, i've known ron for a long time and he's a good guy and like you know i live down in hollywood so it's not like you know a lot of people might be like why do you know him How, like that's weird or whatever but you know what i don't care whatever um i think he's cool you know <laughs> so I just wanted to kind of share that little story but he, he'll try to help you know you know he, um, he'll help try to get you into places or whatever he got it he got us into really a bunch of good parties before you know like he's gotten me into some playboy parties at comic-con we went to a playboy party and we all the stars were there. We went to the Breaking Bad finale party. Like, that was awesome. Um, and, like, other stuff, he's he's always gotten us into the thing events in Hollywood, like, that he was, like, doing AVN awards and um, some parties. And we hung out with Coolio. Like, we were in his little table section. Like, I actually sat on Coolio's lap and got a picture with him. Um, and, like, a lot of really cool things. You know, Carrot Top. We went backstage with Carrot Top and... He's just really cool like that, but I guess lately, um, he doesn't have that thing about him. I think because, Moss says at least, it's because people are kind of, um, dist distancing hit them from him because the whole Me Too mo movement, you know, where you can't really do that. You can't be gropey with women. You can be Ron Jeremy, but just maybe not sign their boobs or whatever, you know, and he does that, like, so I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, like, I don't know, I've known him for a long time, so that's all I wanted to say is share that little story. Um, and I have, like, a lot of interesting stories, but I'm kind of bored right now, so I don't know. I need topics to talk about. So that was a topic. Thanks for listening. Bye. 666. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Cut.